Hello there, I'm Lenny, and in this video, I'm going to discuss the film Judas and the Black Messiah, which was released this week, February 12th, 2021. It's rated R and has the runtime of two hours and six minutes. This movie is playing in selected theaters and also available at home for streaming on HBO Max. Judas and the Black Messiah is a historic movie based off real people and true events. We have a strong cast led by Daniel Kaluuya, Lakeith Stanfield, Jesse Plemons, and Martin Sheen. We also have a little mini Get Out reunion within this film. I already mentioned Daniel and Lakeith, but we also have El Ray Howery also, which is very cool. Just to give you a warning, there will be spoilers in this review, and there's really no way that I can talk about Judas and the Black Messiah without spoilers especially since it's based on real people, true events. There'd be spoilers ahead. The film takes place during the span of 1968 to 1969, after the assassination of human rights leader and activist Malcolm X and civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. The movie focuses on Fred Hampton, who was an activist and a chairman for the Illinois chapter of the Black Panther Party, the following and the legacy that he was able to create in a short amount of time, and the ultimate betrayal by one of his comrades who was actually an FBI plant informant, which leads to Fred's murder. We see Fred Hampton forming the Rainbow Coalition with different parties, the Black Panthers, the Crowns, Hispanic and white groups, bringing these different groups together in unity, working together to bring and give power back to the people instead of law enforcement, whose job it is to protect and to serve. We see J. Edgar Hoover's willingness to silence any voice, especially a black voice, that was giving strength and hope, inspiration to the people. Judas and the Black Messiah stayed with me well after its viewing, and it's a film that I find myself reflecting on and thinking about even now a couple of days later. The topics and the issues that Fred Hampton was so passionately fighting against and trying to bring awareness of are still topics and issues that people of color, black people, are still fighting against today in 2021. Issues such as police brutality, systematic racism, injustice, cover-ups, an outright murder. Fred Hampton's home is broken into in the middle of the night by a police raid with the police murdering Fred in his sleep while he slept in his bed. And while I watched this, I couldn't help but think of 26-year-old Brianna Taylor who was murdered in her own bed, in her own house, during a police raid with the same thing taking place that echoed from 1969, taking place just last year in 2020. Judas and the Black Messiah has very strong performances, especially by Daniel and Lakeith, and the story is still relevant, still rings, unfortunately, true in 2021 from what took place in 1968 and 1969. I definitely recommend seeing this film. You can currently view it, like I said, on HBO Max. It's also playing in select theaters. Rating Judas and the Black Messiah on a scale of one to 10, I give the movie a seven. If you think this video is worthy of a thumbs up, please feel free to do so. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see others just like it, all you have to do is hit the YouTube logo, which is down in the corner, and you'll get a notification anytime I upload a new video to the channel. Also, please feel free to check out the other playlists that I have, movie playlists where I have reviewed other films, Twilight Zone playlists where I do reviews of Twilight Zone episodes, my show playlists where I review shows such as American Horror Story and Cobra Kai. As always, I wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the opportunity to talk about these things that I'm passionate about. I greatly appreciate that. Please be safe, be careful, and I'll talk to you soon.